In this video, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to graph quadratic equation. So this is the title of this video, how to graph quadratic equation. Okay, now there are different ways of uh, graphing it, but I'm going to show you uh, in one of the ways that I haven't discussed so far. So let us write a quadratic equation, say y is equal to uh, x squared plus 4x plus 7. Now, most of the examples of quadratic equation you may have is where you can factorize this into uh, brackets. Okay, now here the problem is you can't find or you do, do not have the two factors, uh, easy factors or two factors, neat numbers, which multiplies to give you 7. So it's not that easy to factor, to graph this. Of course, you can use the graphic calculator to graph it and then uh, that's a way in which you don't understand what's happening. So to graph this, I'm going to discuss one formula of the vertex or xv. So vertex or you can say xv, when I write xv it is the x coordinate, x coordinate of the vertex. This is the formula mm, of vertex is given by this formula uh, xv is equal to minus b over 2a. Now this is, I'll explain what is minus b or what is b and what is a. Now if you have any quadratic equation, the general formula of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the general formula, the general form of any quadratic equation. So when you compare this, this form, or that's the gen this is called the general form. So let me write this as the general form. General form of a quadratic equation. When you compare this with this, I can say A is 1, B is 4, and C is 7. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're first going to find the vertex. Uh, generally what we do is we find the x-intercept and then you find halfway between the x-intercept and then you find the y-intercept. Here I'm going to discuss in a different way. First I'll find the vertex. Uh, also because the vertex or the turning point is the most crucial point in a, quadra uh, in a parabola. So using this formula I can say xv is minus b so b is 4 so it'll be minus 4 over 2 times a where a is 1 now those who have learned the quadratic formula you can uh, write that uh, you can de derive this formula you can prove that vertex is now those who have learned the quadratic formula let me write the quadratic formula i'm not going to prove it that some uh, that's something that you can prove yourself quadratic formula. Uh, those who are doing level 2 maths, you know you should be knowing this formula, which is x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. So your x1, you can say x1, or you want the first root is minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, 4ac over 2a, and your second root I can write as x2 is minus b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now I want, I would like you to do, prove this, so to prove this it is xv is same approach x1 plus x2 divided by 2 x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So you can prove this yourself. I'm not doing, going to do that. Probably I may do it in any other video. So here, this is minus 4 over 2, which is negative 2. So your xv is negative 2. So here, I can directly say my the axis of symmetry will pass through this point. So I'll draw the axis of symmetry first. So this line, this line is called x is equal to negative 2. Okay, I'll come to that later. So this is the 
axis of symmetry axis of symmetry okay so i'm going to i'm going in a different direction rather than is finding the x intercept so the uh, your vertex x value of the vertex is minus 2 so y v that means the y coordinate of the vertex would be to put this x v in the equation so my equation is x squared minus plus 4x plus 7 so it will be minus 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 7 so let us let us do it so negative 2 squared is 4 minus 8 plus 7 now 4 minus 8 is minus 4 plus 7 which is plus 3 so your y v is 3 so your vertex so you can see your vertex or your turning point vertex or it's also called the turning point and in this case we will see that that's also the minima or it's also minima they all mean the same thing is minus 2 comma 3 minus 2 comma 3 so let us plot that point so your vertex is minus 2 comma 3 so this is your vertex okay now by just looking at this i can see the y intercept uh, y intercept is when x is equal to 0 so let me write that so y intercept y intercept is when x is equal to 0 so your equation is y is x squared plus 4x plus 7 so if you put 0 here this is 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 7 which is nothing but 7 so your y intercept is 0 comma 7 so this is your y intercept so let us plot that when we plot it 0 comma 7 is this point okay now this is a line of symmetry so if y this is 7 on the y axis so this is 2 away from the y axis so you have a point 2 away from the x axis so 2 away to the left hand side so this would be a point on the parabola so let us i think this three these three points are enough to draw the graph so here this is a parabola would look somewhat like this we'll confirm this on a graphic calculator uh, and this is the neat thing about this way because you can't find the two because there are no roots this graph this parabola will never intersect the x-axis so these are the three points okay now there are other points also you can plot but I'm not going into that so we'll check this this point is negative 4 negative 4 comma 7 this point is 2 minus 2 comma 3 and this is of course 0 comma 7 so let us get the calculator out okay so this is my calculator and let me type in the equation okay I know the equation is x squared plus 4x plus 7 so you go to graph and type in x squared plus 4x plus 7 and then draw it so my scale has to be bigger I'll make this 10 by 10 and see what happens so this is so I'll check the x intercept sorry the vertex which is the minimum minus 2 3 again go to G solve root if root is the x intercept so there are no x intercept okay and then G solve uh, G solve y intercept y intercept is 0 comma 7 and finally I want to find y when x is negative 4 so i'll press f6 then i want to calculate y that's in short written as y calc so they're asking me what's the x value so i'll give minus 2 so when x is minus 2 uh, oh when x is minus 4 sorry <laughs> so g solve yeah y calc when x is minus 4 yeah when x is minus 4 y is 7 so this is the graph we have done is perfect I'll draw a few more graphs uh, 
for my level one, level one and level two students. See you in the next.